Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you how to tell if your hermit crab is dead um, because it can be hard to tell sometimes. Um, it took me a while to figure it out because like, uh, and the thing that why it is confusing to tell is because hermit crabs do bolt, which is when they show their exoskeleton. So it's sometimes hard to tell if that's their exoskeleton or if that's their like um, claws, you know, like that's their real that's their, like, they don't have any other, uh, shells, or uh, claws, they don't have any other claws coming out after that, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to be telling you, uh, the different ways you could tell if it's molting, like, if that's its exoskeleton, or if it, if your hermit crab really did die, so let's just go ahead and get right on in to this video. So basically, the best way, um, the most accurate, yeah, like the the way that is probably the most obvious to tell is if it like if it smells bad like if it'll sort of smell like dead fish like just stinks um then that means that your hermit crab is dead because um that it doesn't like stink like that um if it's just molting so but if you can't really tell if it stinks like you can't really like you don't really no, you're like, wait, I'm not really sure, for sure, for sure, so I don't want to, like, throw it out. Uh, here are the other ways you can tell if your hermit crab is dead. So, if you do, like, see your hermit crab laying out of its shell, um, you pick up the shell, and if you don't see any, like, claws, um, like, another body, like, inside, um, then that does mean your hermit crab died because, um, that wasn't just its exoskeleton, that was just its whole your whole hermit crab just fell out and there uh, wasn't any regeneration. So if it doesn't show the signs um, that it is molting, then that does mean that the hermit crab um, must have died. Um, I also have a video on hermit crab molting. Um, I will link that down in the description if you want to watch that just so you know the signs and the process of hermit crab molting just to make sure. And yeah, um, another way to tell uh, if it is dead or if it's uh, just molting is if it's, or just to, you know, see if it is dead, you pick it up and put it next to, like, food or the water or just something like that. Um, and if it doesn't, and then just leave it there for a couple of hours, like a day or so, maybe. Um, and if it hasn't moved at all, like, if the claws are all just in the same exact spot and it just looks lifeless and everything then your hermit crab probably did die um, as well if it hasn't moved at all from that same exact position and especially like if you pick it up and it's still not moving then your hermit crab did probably die and if one of your hermit crabs is buried and you're not really um, sure like you're like I, uh, I don't really know if it's dead or if it's alive then all you have to do is you take you just start, like, wherever it's buried, you just start sort of digging there. And then once you see the hermit crab, um, if it does smell, uh, that is, will be how you know uh, for a buried hermit crab as well. Um, if it doesn't smell, just don't disturb it. It probably is just still molting. Um, but if you think it may not be molting and you're like, I think this may be dead for sure. Um, or, well, pretty sure, um, just pick the hermit crab up and then do the other things, uh, that I said before this video just to test it out to see, um, how it is and make sure to check if it shows any of the sides of molting. So, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you out, um, knowing if your hermit crab really is dead or if he may just be molting and you just gotta give him a little bit more time. And yeah, so I hope this helps. Bye guys, see you in my next video.